Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at how Kim Kardashian's Skims doubled its valuations to $3.2 billion. Let's dive right in. Despite gossip and claims that Kim Kardashian is nothing more than a fake reality star who is desperate for attention, it would seem that Kim K is actually quite the businesswoman. She is one of the wealthiest women in the world with a net worth of $1 billion in 2021. This is primarily due to the success of her cosmetics company, KKW, which is valued at between $700 million and $1 billion after Kardashian sold a stake to makeup conglomerate Coty last year. While Kim K also draws revenue from her presence on the family's reality TV shows, KKW set her apart as an entrepreneur with a highly successful brand. Now, Skims certainly seems set to add to that reputation. Skims is a shapewear brand that offers sizes and fits for all body types and neutral colors to match every skin tone. She started Skims in 2019 with co-creator Jens Greed. You might better know this Swedish entrepreneur as recurring Shark Tank guest star Emma Greed's handsome hubby. The brand rose to success during the COVID-19 pandemic as the demand for comfortable homeware skyrocketed. Several retail brands saw a similar trend in 2020, with Uniqlo announcing a 4.7% increase in revenue due to sales of loungewear and a Gap spokesperson telling Fox Business that loungewear was outpacing other styles during the pandemic. However, no brand has seen the incredible 90% growth that Skim saw in 2021. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Skim success allowed the brand to expand its range from the original shapewear offering of bodysuits and boy shorts to trendy, high-quality ranges of loungewear, including pajamas and sweatpants. It also sells a wide range of cozy, at-home trends, including pullovers, sleep robes, and turtlenecks. The brand has grown substantially, and shapewear now represents less than 20% of its business, while underwear accounts for the majority of its sales a fact that has drawn the attention of several influential investors. This year, a $240 million financing round was led by hedge fund Lone Pine Capital and followed up by investment firm D1 Capital Partners. Existing Skims investor Imaginary Ventures, Alliance Consumer Growth, and Thrive Capital also joined the party, causing Skims to double in valuation from $1.6 billion in April 2021 to $3.2 billion in January of 2022. However, despite all the investor interest, Kardashian and Greed retain a controlling stake in Skims. Kim Kardashian, who promotes the brand to her massive online following and helps with design and marketing, has remained its largest individual shareholder. Greed has shared that the pair aren't looking to sell Skims right now or file for a public offering. With that being said, Greed and Kim K have big plans for this brand, and who's to say what the future holds? In 2022, Skims is expected to bring in a whopping $400 million in sales. Word is that this capital will be poured back into some exciting expansion plans that are being kept hush-hush at the moment. But we could discover that there is likely to be a lot of new projects making their way into the international market soon. Skims is building more infrastructure to deliver products outside the U.S. Greed let on that while nearly all Skim sales are done through the brand's website, with the remainder sold through Nordstrom, the brand is also testing out international markets through retailers such as Selfridges in the UK, Lane Crawford in China, David Jones in Australia, and Unas in the Middle East. Exciting times for this market-leading brand. Greed even compared Skims to Lululemon and Starbucks, saying that he feels there is a gap in the market for Skims to establish itself as a whole new category in retail, just as Lululemon and Starbucks did before. In the meantime, Skims is working hard to develop more partnerships, drum up hype, and attract shoppers. Greed said they want to leverage off the momentum they have already received from high-end partnerships. For example, Kim K's brand announced a limited collaboration with LVMH-owned Italian fashion house Fendi in October last year. The collaboration saw items like $395 swimsuits and $4,200 leather dresses filling up online shopping baskets all over the world. What's more is that the partnership generated over $3 million in sales within the first 10 minutes of release. Now that's power. Not long after, Skims took to the world stage at the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, outfitting Team USA athletes in loungewear and undergarments after doing the same at the Summer Games in Tokyo last year. With rave reviews streaming in from all over the globe, the question on everyone's lips is what will Skims do next? 
Of course, many people are still cynical and point out that the Kardashian success is just built on the foundation of a privileged life. Born to famous parents and raised in wealth and on TV shows, can her business success actually be attributed to her? Or is it just more empty hype? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we will be sure to catch you all in the next one.